Yo guys, what's going on today? I'm going to be teaching y'all how to make some Rick Ross, Meek Mill, Kanye West kind of vibes. The sample's going to be down below to download for free. And yeah, without further ado, let's go right into it. So yeah, some crazy hype soul sample stuff. There might be like a couple uh, one shots or something like that, but for the most part, this is all from scratch. First thing that I did, I went into session horns from Contact and I drew in this pattern. This is what the MIDI looks like and sounds like. And so this is actually really simple. It's literally just a one minor chord and then it goes down five to another minor chord and then it just inverted, add some top notes, but that's really the, the idea, it's just two chords. Added some RC20 on that. Next thing I did was copy these chords, but I took out a lot of the top notes and I put that into a choir. And this is what the MIDI looks like for that. For that choir I used East West Backup Singers and another thing I did was, I don't have the MIDI but I changed it up and I, I just added some stabs for a different section so it's not always the same pattern. So this is what that sounds like. So super simple, it's just following the same chords as the brass, there's nothing really crazy going on. The last thing for that section that I did once I had all that was I added in this lead vocal, which is also from East West uh, Backup Singers. They have solo phrases and also just uh, like a choir that I used. And this is what this sounds like. So super simple. Next thing I did was I just added this little drum fill. In Logic they have a, a stock drum kind of plugin so I drew in this pattern and this is what it sounds like. So it's really just to add that kind of old soul sample kind of vibe to it. The next thing that I, in my opinion, really took this to another level was this bass that I added. It's the Scarby Rickenbacker bass from Contact, and this is what that sounds like. And pretty much to make a bass sound like that, all I did was copy the, the root notes of the chords, which is uh, C down to G, and then I just added little accent notes in between, and you kind of want to play with the rhythm a little bit, but yeah, it's super simple. There's really just two main notes with a couple little accents here and there. Next thing that I did is I added these strings. They're literally just following the, the root notes, except at the end I did a little switch up note just to transition back into it. So that's super simple. It's really just a, a high texture in the background more than the main melody, but it adds a lot to the sample and makes it feel more dramatic. The next thing I added was this organ, and this is just a stock logic organ. This is what that MIDI looks and sounds like. It's really just copying the chords, but you add this little run in, and it makes it feel like a real organ was played because they like to slide into the, the notes. So this is what that sounds like. And 
to get that little effect where it's moving towards the end, what I did is I grabbed this rotor cabinet plugin from Logic and then I went into automation right here. I made the rotor speed fast and it's slow the rest of the time. So it gives it a movement towards the end of the, the loop and it makes the transition nice. That's pretty much the basis of the whole sample, but you know, I had to switch it up, make a, a couple new sections. So what I did for this next second section was I came in with the Whirly V2 from Arturia and I drew in this pattern, which is, it's just the same chords. I copied the root notes down an octave just to fill it out a little bit. And then I added a, a little accent chord, which is just this chord transposed up an octave. And this is what that sounds like. So I did this from a more laid back section so that it's not always so crazy. So I could have stopped here, but I was flowing. I had to go crazy. Added a third section. And this is, this is really like a breakdown kind of section. So for this section, what I did was I just copied the same bass notes that there was before from the, the bass, but I took out all the accents and this just sounds like this. Next thing I did that made this section really stand out was I added this synth lead. This lead is from my Omnisphere bank. It's called the Stringy Lead. The link to that will be down in the description as well. All right, so the next thing I did, I added just this synth one shot from Kill September's bank, and it just sounds like this. So it's super simple. And just to fill out some more space in this section, I took the whirly and the organ, and I just added the decimal over it to cut out the frequencies, and together those sound like this. So that's really filling out most of the frequencies and then uh, it leaves room for the other sounds in the section. After that, all the elements were added. Uh, I just added some finishing touches. I added just a, a wind chime just for that soul texture. Pretty much from there, I just stemmed it out, made sure that there was some time in between each section so that if reverb was bleeding over or something like that, it had a, a clean fade on the next sound. And I pitched it up four and that's how I got this. <laughs> All right, so next thing I did was, you know, I had to add some drums to it. This is what the full beat sounds like. And that little switch up right here sounds like this. Not too crazy, but first thing I added was this kick. Next thing I added was this snare. Next thing I did was add this little hi-hat loop. Next thing I did was add this 808. It's pretty much just following the, the root notes of the sample. Last thing I had to add was this little crash. This is just like a Meek Mill trap kind of crash. Only on the drum sound I added was this. It's like a, a Tom, like a Noah 40 Drake kind of underwater sounding thing. And I just drew in a normal snare pattern. Nothing going on here for the little breakdown. Last thing I did was add this little fill right before each time it goes back into the hook. 
So that just helps the anticipation build. I right, appreciate y'all getting to the end of this video. Samples down below to download. Sorry my camera died, but yeah, appreciate y'all watching. Peace.